Children with Down syndrome often experience challenges in their speech development. One key aspect that affects this is the auditory loop in working memory, which plays a crucial role in language and communication. The auditory loop is responsible for holding verbal information in our short-term memory while we process it and make sense of it. In children with Down syndrome, this loop may not function as efficiently as it does in typically developing children. This can lead to difficulties in processing and retaining auditory information, including speech sounds. As a result, children with Down syndrome may struggle with sound differentiation, the ability to distinguish between different sounds when listening to spoken language. This can affect their ability to accurately produce speech sounds themselves, leading to delays or errors in their speech. Understanding this enables us to create interventions for children at a much younger age than what was previously accessible for those with Down syndrome. You can start using sound flashcards with your baby as young as six months. We pair these sound cards with phonics cues. Phonics cues are visual and auditory aids that help children associate sounds with letters and words. These cues can be in the form of pictures, gestures, or even hand signs. At Little Leaf, we utilize hand signs, which are highly effective for our students. They are already accustomed to observing our hands for communication as we use American Sign Language. This exercise allows your child to practice listening to individual sounds daily and observe how your mouth shapes these sounds. At 18 months, we engage children in matching activities that associate sounds with letters. During this activity, we present a flashcard with the letter B, produce the sound, not the letter's name, and assist them in matching it to the corresponding letter on the page. This exercise nurtures early reading and spelling skills in children as well as speech and language development. As children mature, they often interchange sounds. For instance, they might say tote instead of coat, substituting T for K. These substitutions reveal a connection between similar sounds, hinting at how sound distinctions affect this process. To tackle this issue, we create a matching exercise where children pair challenging sounds. Through this activity, they match sound to sound using letters to symbolize each sound. By implementing these strategies and starting early, you provide your child with the necessary repetition to diminish the impacts of a less efficient phonological loop in their working memory. This, this can improve their ability to recognize and produce sounds accurately, leading to improved speech.